Hi guys, it's Karis. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna talk about coffee scenes. This video has been requested many years. <laughs> it's been so long, I am so sorry, but finally I'm here as I'm pretty much content with not getting any more coffee scenes. I, I didn't really plan on it, adding these many, but one by one, I started collecting since I got this very first cup of scenes, which looks oh, amazing. Hope this video doesn't go like two hours long because I have a lot to talk about as cup of scenes from LV, my favorite, like absolute favorite. And please comment below if you have more questions about cup of scenes. I will get back. I will do my best to answer to help you guys. Alrighty, let's begin with the history behind. Louis Vuitton's Capucine's handbag was introduced in the fall winter 2013 collection. So it's been around almost 11 years and comes with three different sizes. One, the smallest is the mini. It is the permanent size as the smallest. I say that because they also have micro sometimes, but nano as well. So quite confusing but those are not always available but mini always available permanent line this is bb and they also have one size bigger mm which i don't own because i'm not so crazy about the size mm the size micro more of runway show pieces tiny it's like this mini size will hold my phone barely. Now, they added a new size called East West Mini. So same mini, but lower. It's quite special as the metal is covered up with the same color as the bag. So very minimal and does not really stand out with the LV. So really chic and nice all black super matte price interestingly is more than the typical mini and also the limited edition mini so the price of the west is that cost six thousand seven hundred fifty as of now at lv exact same price as the bb 6750 the bb size now it comes with scarlet the red color that i own also the snow color white and also they had khaki and of course the classic black with gold they have pop of green color which is really nice but also they added khaki with which is darker than the green color so there's different options nowadays. This is the color Galette. The BB size, they come with the color very, very similar to this called Pebble, but they have also lighter color like in between. I'll say ivory to this. In between color name is Quartz. If you like lighter color, but you don't want white white snow white then go with quartz but if you like does not stand out super neutral go with the pebble because they discontinue this color but very very similar to pebble capucine's mini normally comes with limited edition this was the limited edition with the snakeskin handle and the lb plug and now currently i saw they have flower details right here but before they had embroidered right here like birds flowers a lot of times they make special edition with the size mini now capucine's mini comes with the permanent line black with gold combination and also this is the cold scarlet beautiful red color with gold this is the permanent line and they also have one called Ocher, Rose Jasmine, very pretty pink shade. If you've been wanting the color Galette straight from the store, if you cannot find at the secondhand market. By the way, I found some at the secondhand market that are same as the ones that I currently own. I'm gonna have those linked down below in the description box so you can check them out really good price point and yeah really good condition as well anywho this is the color galette like i said if you've been wanting it but you don't mind adding 
the half flower gold bar over this section really pretty actually i was tempted to get one the mini size because they also have black color comes with black and galette only it comes with mini size and mm which is bigger than this one and both of them have really pretty gold half flower it's quite special but at the same time super classy and that half flower bar special edition cost 6350 currently US dollar, but the regular style costs 6,100. Fun fact, the name Capucines came from the street name where founder Louis Vuitton established his first shop in 1854. The street name is Rue, Rue Ne De Capucines in Paris. And if you ask me, is the Capucines worth getting from Louis Vuitton as it is pretty much the most expensive handbag that are permanent line as the it bag from Louis Vuitton. I say yes. Like I said, I found the affordable price tag that are authentic online. So check down below in the description box if you wanted to get capucines but you don't want to pay the full price like 6,000 something. But I found great price point around 4,000 or under 5,000. One of the best Louis Vuitton bags worth investing in is Capucines Classic at LV. Yes, absolutely. The Capucines was a modern classic from the beginning, the start of the production as it came out in 2013. Like I said, it's been around almost 11 years, but it is still going very, very strong at the House of Louis Vuitton. It is the timeless and elegant and also iconic from LV. If I compare to other handbags that Louis Vuitton makes every year, brand new handbags come out, they all look very, very seasonal, which means it comes, but it goes also. Uh, at the same time, it is nice to have something fresh and different design or brand new look, but to me, they all look quite twisted and look really similar to the previous model. It looks almost a copy of the ones that have been very popular at LV. For example, Push and Matisse. It was a big, heavy seller at LV. They couldn't even make enough to sell, but then they had an idea to make a little different but similar look to Push and Matisse, but they won't sell as well as Push and Matisse. Then LV decided to make more of limited edition Push and Matisse with higher price points. So then people will still buy them, but then they make smaller, tinier, and now East West. Just they're changing things out so that people will buy more of Push and Matisse as it is just still really popular. So those categories yes they're nice and Bush and Matisse it is timeless piece at LV right now but something like this it is I call it icon that is going to be their like permanent line that is one of their it bags that won't easily go away like other seasonal handbags at LV Capucines yes it is classic where are these capucines made from? Most of my capucines are made in France, but Italy and Spain. Some are made in the US, especially the ones permanent line like scarlet or black color. So if you don't want to get made in US, always check before you pay for it. Mines are pretty much all made in France. Like this one was limited, it is made in France. Most brand new released items are made in France. If you're like me, love getting Louis Vuitton handbags made in France, I say go when the first batch or the first release of brand new colors are out there. They are all pretty much all made in France because that's the first place that they release the first batch of the shipment. Please don't quote me because I'm not there or I don't work for LV, so I don't know 100%, but from me getting many and knowing LV, how it works, just, you know, from experiencing, even the canvas bags, pretty much everything, if you get the first batch, 
pretty much they're all made in France. But if you wait and it becomes uh, permanent, it's been around sometimes, a lot of them are made in the US. If that's important to you, just keep in mind. And the capucines leather, except the exotic and different limited edition. Some are fabric, some different finishes, but most capucines, they're made of great Turlin leather. Turlin? So main features on capucines. First, you see the LV plaque on the front, the middle of a handbag, and there is the side rings on the top handle. And when you take the flap out, there's the subtle monogram flower on the flap. And if you're like me, I like to know pretty much everything, the meaning I found out about capucines. Quite interesting, I wrote it down, I'm gonna just read it. Capucine or nasturtium, as it translates, is the epitome of a successful marriage between orange and pink, a lively color that seduces as much by its freshness as by its depth. And if you ask, are these handmade? With capucines, there's no doubt, you get an extremely well-made handbag. And it doesn't matter different size, but each capucine bag takes over 250 individual handcrafted operations to finalize each production from the beginning till the end every single capucine i got also i've seen at lv store different stores you guys know i am very picky and my eyes are very very sharp guys seriously i see every little details at once at a glimpse as you know, it's like, this is how I, I do. <laughs> I always look and find and choose. And I have to look at many different aspects. But also when I buy a handbag, I like to look every, every, every serious corner of it. And I examine, not just because I'm getting one, but also it just became my habit. I mean... I have to admit, even though LV is my favorite, I love Louis Vuitton. That's why my channel name, it stands for LV, Louis Vuitton, right? LV lover, CC, my initial. So I do love, but I find a lot of flaws, like different handbags at LV. But capucines, every single time I see capucine bag, they are like immaculate, like every capucines I've seen and touched or tried not even to buy but each one I held they are perfect normally there's some type of glue issue or painting issue or something but I don't see so far yet I hope never but they are made so well more than anything any handbag any item I see at LV. So they pay serious attention to capucines. That's another reason they're pushing a lot also, making lots of exotic like croc and different style, different colors. LV makes um, leather bags that are very, very elegant and timeless other than capucines also. But they have never been that popular or got that much attention to the customers, people who care for LV. But what I know of, Capucines is just still the number one because it just has everything. See, Capucines are the top and the best of best. From LV, if I have to pick one from LV, it'll be for sure Capucines. Now, I don't know which color or which one from my collection, but no doubt, Capucines is the number one from LV. Yes, canvas, very popular. Yes, a lot of people start from canvas bags. I don't disagree or against it. It is great, it's durable, it's nice so far. Uh, there's a lot of factor to it. But if you have enough canvas bags from LV and you're not uh, that interested in the monogram or different print, I, 
highly I've always said but highly recommend getting one cup of sin you love classic style timeless style and also elegant style design handbags this is the perfect one to go for especially if you love LV if not if you are totally like casual girl you like crossbody you like something squishy and you like to put a lot of stuff inside your handbag no absolutely no 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 don't get this you're wasting your money it's expensive even you pay secondhand market still very expensive and this is not a bag that you want to carry around every single day for casual occasions you could possibly but i don't recommend because this is more like a, i wouldn't say super dressy but it is not every day like carrying everything in the bag oh i forgot to mention about who designed lv capucines nicolas gasky he designed the capucines the original from the beginning lots of artisans have made their own collection of capucines now they have artsy capucines very artistic special special kind i'll have the pictures over here so you can check them out currently at their website they have the video for you to watch they have collaborated with different artisans and just beautiful and very special dior does that too with lady dior their iconic handbags these I am brand they like to do that to show off their iconic handbags in different look and some people are very very after my friend joy told me she now realized i love limited edition one day when we shop in hawaii but honestly i love classic design but when you have enough classic then you start to like something more limited more special but i like classic based have a little bit twist or something special but not dramatic special special like having the fire on it or ginormous handbag with the rock on it like those i don't think i pull it i can pull it out so i want something more practical that i can wear but at the same time something more special than typical that's what I like. Alrighty, let me begin with talking about my very, very first capucine handbag I got back in 2016. So it's over seven years. Can you guys believe this? I've had that long, but it looks unbelievable. Crazy, crazy. It still looks like I, I don't know there's nothing that i can complain about this handbag and also the color being galette i love it you guys know i'm not a like i've never been a big fan of this type of muted color either i go with strong like red or pop of pink or baby pink i love also but white color still it is crisp like pop of color as well even though it is toned down pop of color this is like a middle type of color i don't normally go with but i do not regret and i hesitated actually when i was getting this very first full leather like handbag from lv back then should i get it or not is it really gonna be iconic like that i know it was introduced in 2013 but then i got three years later still i wasn't sure oh but now after having that's why i love and got all these capucines oh my goodness within that years i collected quite a bit now but let me tell you i still love and i still till today i wear this handbag i wouldn't say heavily i wear like a lot like two three times a week not like that but at least two times a month this is my favorite actually going to sunday like lord's day meeting or like where where i like to somehow dress up but not too much like but this handbag does not have like monogram everywhere but very classy 
And I still think it's understated because it is not like this LV plaque that is quite noticeable, right? And also this one, even with white color, LV is bam, right there. Not like so, but this is somewhat hidden, half of it. So this handbag I take when I don't want my handbag to stand out so much, but I want something well-made and nice, elegant handbag. I take this and also size BB. It is really practical everyday size. Perfect for anybody. You don't have to downsize, but you don't want to carry big things like some books or big diary, but something that you have to carry day to day, like tissue paper or perfume or something more extra than essentials like keys and wallet you still can add more than you have with the mini size so bb i highly recommend perfect size mm will be heavy for sure because bb is not light but it's not too heavy for you to carry around it is perfect size and the weight and the look everything about it bb i love so that's why i own three colors this is color gala which they don't have anymore but like i said mm size and mini they have gala same color with the half monogram flower bar right here which is really really feminine and pretty in my opinion but that is the bb and gala with gold hardware and this one I think I got this after, or was this after? I don't remember. I think mini, I went later on because they didn't have mini size at first. The color name Magnolia, no longer they carry Magnolia pink shade is more of cool tone. This handbag has been so easy to carry around and I don't have anything with silver hardware with the pink. So. This handbag has been just one that is different than other pink handbags that I have in my collection. So that's why I still carry around and still love. Do you see the difference? This handle is rounded and like pointy on top. This handbag came like so. And I never try to bend like this way, but it came as more flat style than this one every year and every like a different capucine handbag even though they are all made same and have same feature somehow quite different yes especially the handle you will see each one i go through the black one that i have here and this one has different color lining fuchsia pink so it's quite special. Now they don't have the black with the silver palladium hardware finish combination, but they have black with the gold hardware. This also is discontinued from LV, but every time I wanna wear black with silver combination, I take this handbag. But this I'll have to say the least used, but it is super chic this is more favorite than this one because i do have more pink handbags than this color handbags even though this is the oldest and also not as pretty i'll say not girly which you guys know i love like bling and pink or red i like that but this handbag is the most elegant handbag i have in my entire collection that i can say because every time i wear this i feel even more elegant like I don't know it's like really hard to explain but i love this bag so much i don't think i will ever give up on this particular bag and also i pay so much less if you're talking about today's money now bb cost six thousand three hundred fifty but back then i remember paying just above three thousand so half the price of what they actually ask right now but look at the quality and look at the wear and tear. There's seriously no wear and tear. Even looking at the stitching area 
and also the piping everywhere like nothing nowhere there but i wore this handbag out of eight years almost eight years i wear i make sure to wear it pretty much i mean every month i have number of bags you guys all know but that bag always been used i wear it especially during summer i love wearing this with white color outfit and having a bit of flower going on here and there i love and also i like adding the bag charm the blingy pinky one from lindy's match really well especially hanging on right here really pretty but today i don't have any charm because i just wanted to focus on the bag and show you guys just a couple scenes right so it's really really pretty and palladium hardware so quite special I i don't have a lot of uh silver hardware handbag like this one so these two other than that every cup of scene i have they're all with gold finish hardware the first cup of scene mini i got i think this arrived before this one and i went to check out this at the store or the black one when the mini became available and Julini at that time at LV she was talking about how much I love capucines and I have to look at the size mini and I thought it would be too tiny for me to carry around but then once I saw it, once I started to put my things inside it worked and I was surprised how deceiving that little mini size can hold quite a lot of things in it so this was I would just say this was the very first one the mini and oh i love 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 so much except having that lv just i like the typical style so half you don't really see that hardware as it's covered half away with the same leather it just stands out quite a lot so i do like but also at the same time i don't really like that i wish it was half covered up getting attention but it has that snake skin on top not a big fan of snake and i don't i hate seriously so it was very hard decision to make at that time i didn't see it in person it was just being available it was about to come out jolene showed me the new items that's about to come out and she told me to you know order it before because only three available at that time it was super limited at the end i went for it i started to love white color you guys remember that moment and oh i wore this handbag and i loved it being white very easy to take care of i had no marks or nothing I mean still now being white no mark no no right <laughs> but i wore this handbag actually more than the galette and other capucines that i already had before this handbag so i realized i do wear mini size then when i got this which came quite soon after i got this one realized loving it and Jolini happened to order this and scarlet it was brand new color at that time i mean i wouldn't say brand new color scala has been permanent red color at lv for leather but they didn't really have leather leather full leather bag uh before capucines i mean they had here and there but not that popular just come and go type of design this came out and wow so beautiful guys i think Capucines. When I think of capucines, this is the best for the look. This red color, true red, and having that pop of gold picking halfway, LV, the black there, and the ring having that beautiful, polished, gorgeous, luxurious finish. Just beautiful, nice size for a pop of color. And I love carrying this, especially wearing a silk dress or dress type looks really really pretty together so i love but one thing that i don't really love i mean which doesn't really matter because i never even wore crossbody with this handbag normally i carry holding top handle because i talk about the 
D-ring or the hooks are asymmetrical like here and there so it's kind of like twisted when you wear it and when you have something heavy inside your handbag of course it will pull over time if you wear a lot but when you put this like this way because it is quite thick it just to me looks like a belt like car seat because it's so thick it reminds me of this has to be in my car <laughs> i'm not a big fan of wearing this thick style this bag being so tiny having the stick of the leather crossbody to me it looks kind of funny i know that's just my opinion but lv kindly gifted me the strap to wear together and also i have a bunch of chains long chains from samorga so i carry that long chain inside my handbag it doesn't eat up a lot of space because it's with the metal most of the time i carry a top handle it's just easy peasy to just grab and go before i got this i already pre-ordered this one this is exotic the ostrich the color pink they also have dark pink this is baby pink so when you pre-order you can pick the color and also which color hardware you can go with but nowadays they have quite a bit of selection for you not to pre-order but you can just purchase they don't have many in the store so I recommend you to check the condition because it's one only available so if that's been around there for some times in that store and many people tried it on you want to check under the handle side just because you know your hands are not always clean this I ordered it took not one year quite yet but nine months for sure and it took longer than six months that they told me so i was like how long does it take and at the end i was gonna also change to green color but they were almost done so yeah i got it and i was very very happy with the color especially being this beautiful baby pink and having that ostrich i love it so much and it is so cute and understated as the baby pink is more neutral so really nice but i'm gonna be again honest with you i don't really carry this handbag for some reason maybe because when i got this bag baby pink has been uh kind of died down on my <laughs> my book i started to love white and i just never stopped loving white color this i still carry it even after i had this and also the red color scarlet just that's my baby and i thought i would love this so much that's why i even pre-ordered by the way when you pre-order you don't pay extra just you have to wait for it but of course it's being ostrich you pay more than the leather type but i think it's worth it especially if you love ostrich which i do so very very pretty and the color of course it is more feminine before this arrived but already ordered right i got this one in atlanta i remember fell in love with this color it is the sunbeam beautiful yellow it pops so 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 pretty and i often get asked from you guys if you can purchase this from me and i believe i found the exact same one at fashion file if it's not sold already i'll link it below it comes with different than other capucines yellow sunbeam and the stardust both of them are limited edition and both come with the chain which i absolutely love i know having the thick strap became very popular at that time when these mini size came out and i don't know now if they changed i don't think so but i just don't agree with having thick style because think about it having this thick style 
like belt looking type of strap for that small mini bag having crossbody to me it looks very funky and also it just gets so much attention on the cross having that thick strap rather than the back because back has to be the center isn't it having this thin style strap and also the leather being adjustable whereas that one is not adjustable so much prettier isn't it and especially having that hook on the side better smarter it is different than this yellow color this yellowy color is actually exact same color as the lv box yes that yellow color so um more of mustardy darker and also it has that brownish like gold tone also this one is super yellow but stronger not as lighter like lime that i have kelly that's like muted type of yellow so this oh there's a lot to say about yellow right <laughs> I think this video is really long now, but anywho, it is gorgeous. And every time I get email from you guys, I think about it. Should I let it go? Because I don't always wear this bag. But then I'm like, I can't let it go. Like, so pretty. This is one of a kind type of color. I talked about this handbag not long ago on my channel. If you want to check it out, I'm going to have it right here. I said never used because I really didn't use never been used this handbag having that green color i always think of pistachio but i don't remember what the name was i think the name was green something and it is from the stardust collection time they also had this lilac or purple color which was really really pretty also but this i got in new york new york city yeah my essay Kevin helped me out and this was the very last piece at that time and he was like telling me I need to get one and I got it because uh, if Kevin was not really pushing I don't think I would have bought this handbag because I, I knew I wouldn't wear it I knew this is not the type of color I normally carry around or I know how to wear so I knew it but then the handbag itself is just so gorgeous guys it is another one of a kind like i have nothing like this and it's very very special i don't know if you can tell the day dye the color like yellowy goldy color undertone and then they spray over it with the greenish like pistachio color like minty also it's very very unique and different i always talk about this plaque i have two different ways to say i love it the look because i love mother of pearl with gold finish always love it's so so beautiful but then at the same time i don't like that it's so prominent i think i got this when lv trunk the truck came to our home for me to shop you remember <laughs> this ah oh, yeah joelle brought a bunch a bunch many 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 lv pieces and oh my goodness so much fun i still remember it and this exotic laser skin all total so with the silver finish and then they dusted over they brushed it with the gold 24 karat gold over it so special and unique only one available type of capucines from lv so um yes again unique and special it's nice to have and you won't find easily so i thought it was quite special to get it and i do enjoy wearing it but i don't get to wear it that much of course i did wear this at least right compared to this one as i never wore this just as you know yet um this one being in between metal like it has the silvery look somehow silvery but then also it's goldy like i said the gold is brushed over it so both ways you can go with but then i found out when i go more on silvery look it it doesn't match but then also when i go on heavy on gold 
it also does not match. <laughs> so I figure having that mix of metal, like silver and gold, both together, I should not really go on either gold or silver look wearing this together. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I try to wear this with Cult Gaia shoes. If you remember the yellow gold, it's super yellow. It's goldy, like gold, gold shoes. And I thought those will go really well with this because it has the gold brushed, right? But then, no, they don't match at all. They go like two different ways because it has that silvery look and that gold is super gold in yellow, yellow. And I realized, wow, I got this. So I can wear both silver and gold, but then the gold is too much. I can't wear this with gold. But then one time I tried with silver shoes. <laughs> How funny is this? Like they don't go well either. So this I figure I should wear with either white or black something not focused on silver or gold like my original intention really off of what I expected but still it is still neutral and I still think it's worth keeping it so I have it still now but I time to time I think about it I'm like ah oh, it's not like what I expected and also my essay kindly gifted this chain from LV. It's really pretty. Actually, it is the chain that comes for cushy mini little pocket style. It's really, really nice. It's pretty to wear that way. So this handbag is, yes, really nice. I think it goes really well with the dress that I'm wearing. I brought these two handbags to tell you guys or show you how similar these are but different i didn't bring the twist back but it has the twist look on the front the way how you open but because it is with the top handle just like cup of scenes it has similar look and the shape is quite similar right so just wanted to show you guys if you're not sure about getting this one because you're not a fan of having the flap on the front like on top keep opening and closing which i thought also it might be cumbersome or bothersome i wouldn't you know like to care for that but actually it's not that difficult just flip it open and put something in and sometimes i just leave it like this this is a size mini and this is a size pm which is interesting because it's smaller actually than the BB cup of scenes, but PM supposed to be bigger, right? So that is the comparison you can see and the amount of things that goes in quite similar to the BB here. And this one, actually, I don't really wear this bag seriously because I always say, I don't like the LV plaque, but then I'm like, why did you get it, right? Honestly, when I got this handbag, I was attracted to the same color box of the LV right there. And also this color being similar to this, I thought this LV yellow wouldn't really stand out when you wear it, but actually it still stands out, I find. And also this is just super cute. The color here, I remember it was dragon fruit color it's like a pop neon pink i think of this kind of sexy and also pretty but this is really cute because of the color and this one is called one handle twist so twist here and the one handle so it's like a mixture of cup of scenes and twist together just to have the flap opening and i brought the fendi peekaboo to show you guys because I think these are the most close to Capucines from my collection since it has a one top handle. This one is the mini and this is also mini. The Fendi size mini is like the Capucines BB. And for some reason, this holds more just because it has two separate 
areas inside and also easier to grab, put inside and also secure as you close it that way. Whereas the capucines, it eats up quite a bit of space from having that flap on top because on top you cannot put much in it. Pretty much almost like this amount. You cannot put something. Otherwise, this is gonna be holding this way. The space wise, it looks more big or it just opens up more than the mini Fendi Peekaboo. Here is the size small. It's kind of similar, right? To the Capucin's BB. I just want to show you the difference. These are some of my most used from my collection because understated and just really minimal, timeless, classic. Let me show you guys what fits inside my Capucin's size mini. This one is the one with color Scarlet and it's with the gold hardware first. I'm gonna put the card holder. My phone, I have the case on. I could actually put it this way. As you can see, it goes in, but I don't want to give too much stress as I use my phone a lot. So I don't want to just keep putting in and out. So what I do is to put it on the front section. So when I put the flap, I just do that. It's picking through but still it is pretty with that bling bling so I just leave it that way if you have smaller phone this wouldn't be a problem but I'm gonna put it like on that side sunglasses I normally like to carry sunglasses I can't use the thick case but this case works so this pouch works nicely from LV I normally pop it on top but the mirror one one lipstick goes in high here and another lipstick. I've been loving this from Hourglass. Two of them right there. And I have the perfume here. Actually, there is more space. Key fob right here with the key charm just sticking out as it's pretty. And I'll pop this sunglasses on top of the bag. I'll either just pop it that way to have that sticking up or just I'll hold my phone. This section, I have nothing except my key fob right here. So you could add some tissue papers or something extra right here. So I just want you to know this handbag fits more than what you could think. It is size mini. Like I said, it is pretty with the bling. If you're interested in this phone case, it's from Lindy's and also this is the collaboration I did with Lindy. Check it out, I'll link to down below and you can use the code LVLOVERCC15 for 15% off. BB here, it fits everything that I add in here. The small agenda that I got from Hermes, it will go in here comfortably and there's more space left. So. Definitely consider this bag, BB, as an everyday bag. Extra things you can put in. This only essentials, but for my essentials, like I still have lots of room left here. Unless I put this phone in here to have my hands free. But yeah, I love it. Okay, my most worn from Capucin's collection is for sure Galette since I've had it longer time and also it's the most neutral color. And the least used is definitely this one, the black, because I don't really carry black bag. When I semi dress up, I normally go with black and white, like quite simple. So I like to go with a bit of pop of color. So this handbag has not been really used. So I thought of letting it go. Um, yeah, you can email me if you've been wanting the black color with the palladium hardware that has the fuchsia lining. Yeah, email me to lvloverscc at yahoo.com. The ones that I talked about never used from last video, 
a lot of emails came through and I was telling you guys I am not ready to sell this one and after that video I kept thinking like oh should I let it go should I let it go but I think I will regret it so I'm gonna give another chance for me to try to see if I will wear it because I'm like I have many things but then I also have that mindset if I don't use at least one or two years there's no point of me having it's time for them to go to new home to get used and loved because I'm not giving enough love they all deserve to get used right and the exotic that I have these two one thing I like about even it is special having that lizard skin because it's really really it blends in with that plaque you really cannot tell if it's from LV or not just nice goldy bag so I like that and also this is the prettiest cup of scenes I have beautiful pink the love of pink has faded down so this must be the most like most worn from mini collection that I have and again never been used still yeah let's this a summer if i get to use and the uh, red one every time i wear i just oh i fall in love again and again i highly recommend this guys a link to it i found two i think from fashion file i tend to link fashion file nothing to do with fashion file i don't have any relationship with them and I never even bought anything from them but I find good like condition and the price ranges are quite reasonable in my opinion whereas eBay a lot of people bump up a lot like really high price and the pictures are not that accurate in my opinion but fashion file provides really clean like real true condition of handbag they show every little things if there is something going on in the back so you get to know before you purchase so that's why i link a lot from fashion file i think that's all pretty much i can talk about capucines and i hope this video was informative and helpful to you if i didn't answer your questions please let me know comment below i'll get back to you as soon as i can and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye